Top Trender, Mod Squad. A lot of the food we eat, mainly fruits and vegetables, of course, are already modified. Vicious man-eating tomatoes grow to monstrous proportions. We don't even know about it because they're not labeled. Initiative 522 that will require labels on genetically modified food. Losing by 10%. Monsanto and Bayer and Dow AgriSciences and DuPont and Coke and Pepsi and Nestle and General Mills. In the face of the largest influx of out-of-state corporate special interest cash. And America corporations run the show. They totally swamp the other side. A Toronto teen is leading the fight against GMOs. Many people to stand up to these biotechs and corporations as possible. And we welcome tonight to the Ed Show Rachel Parent, a GMO activist and founder of Kids Right to Know. Rachel is 14 years old. She's been working on this for the last several years. It's become her passion, and she certainly has caught the attention of a lot of people, especially big corporations who threw a ton of money at this initiative in the state of Washington to defeat it. Rachel, welcome to The Ed Show. I'd like to know, did you think that this food labeling fight was going to be so intense? Well, thank you for having me, first of all. And um, second of all, I had a feeling that it might be quite intense because um, we had experienced Proposition 37 already, which was a proposition in California to label GMOs. And actually, these corporations spend $47 million avoiding GMO labeling there. So I knew in Washington that it would be quite intense as well. Rachel, what uh, struck your passion to get involved in this? From your research, also I'd like to know, what's the risk of GMOs? If you could tell uh, our audience from what you know of it, why is this bad for America? Well, first of all, um, there are many health risks, um, including allergies and even uh, organ damage. So there are huge issues associated with GMOs. Um, and what really sparked me to get interested in this was originally I had to do a speech for my school and I didn't know what to do it on. My topics were originally deforestation, poverty, animal cruelty, and of course GMOs. But I did know a bit about GMOs and I knew how they impacted absolutely everything from our health to our environment. So I decided more people need to know about this, and I did more and more research, got more and more interested, and saw some of the studies that happened with rats and realized this is such a huge issue. Someone needs to stand up to this. Why not me? I can make a difference, and so can everyone else. What kind of pushback are you getting for speaking out about this? Really, I haven't gotten that many pushbacks at all. In fact, I've gotten a lot of support, and I, I'm so thankful for that support. That's what really keeps me going. And, you know, it's funny that the corporations spend so much money um, on trying to avoid GMO labeling, and the movement is getting bigger and bigger. So if those corporations think that we're just going to give up because we've lost two labeling initiatives, they're wrong. We are getting stronger, and we will continue to push. Well, you have started an organization's Kids Right to Know. Tell us about that. Well, I started an organization. It's called Kids Right to Know. I originally um, initiated it when I was 12 years old, and because I'm just so passionate about this subject. You know, it affects everything from our bees, our butterflies. In fact, going to the bees, 52% of the bees in the U.S. have already died off due to pesticide use. And that's just such a huge amount. They're, they pollinate everything. In fact, two out of every three bites of food that you eat every day are pollinated by bees. So if we didn't have the bees, mm -hmm. we wouldn't really have too much food. What's in your future, Rachel? What, what do you want to do? I mean, and, and what is the next big project? Uh, I-522 was, was defeated in the state of Washington. What's next on the horizon for you? Well, um, what's next is I have many speaking engagements, and I'm just really trying to create awareness because that's what it's all about. Many Americans and Canadians are left in the dark about this huge issue, and it's time we all start waking up and coming to the truth and do something about it. I mean, that's the big thing. We all have to take action. 
So um, I'll be continuing to spread awareness, and hopefully there will be some more initiatives within the U.S. Actually, 26 states right now are looking at labeling laws, so that will be an amazing first step. And although Washington did not win this one, it, we will get labeling. We, I know we will, and right. we will all just have to come together. So. All right. GMO activist and founder of Kids Right to Know, Rachel Parent. Good to have you with us on The Ed Show. Keep up the fight. Keep up the good work. I admire what you're doing. Coming up.